Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the main questline, where we've been continuing the search for an Elder Scroll to get more information on that elusive Dragon Wren shout. Now, for the past few videos, it's all been lore based and a lot of jibber jabber, but now we're off on an epic quest where we can fill our boots and all the blood, gore and mayhem we could ever wish for. So we've been to see old Septimus Cygnus at his outpost, um, just on the northern iceberg past the College of Winterhold, and he's told us that the Elder Scrolls hidden in the depths of Blackreach, and that's a large underground Dwemer city that lies underneath the ruins of Ulftand, and he's given us an achievement sphere, needs to gain entry into Blackreach, and a blank lexicon that we must return to him, and that starts a side quest. Uh, Ulftland is located uh, in the gla glacial mountains southwest of Winterhold, um, it's a bit of a trek, and you'll meet frost trolls, wolves, etc. on the way, but nothing overly hard. Now, I must warn you, this is, well, in my opinion anyway, a pretty tricky quest to do at a lower level. Now, it is possible, but I would suggest you wait till you're confident you can take on um, things like Dwarven Spheres, Spiders, Centurions, and of course, Falmer. Um, all of which are pretty tough little customers, for sure. I would also suggest that if your lockpicking skills aren't high, Bring lots of lock picking potions with you, as there are many expert and master lock chests that are stuffed full of really decent um, but leveled loot. So go light. Now, I've been telling you all along uh, gather all ingredients wherever you are and store them away. Um, and this should help you. Now, the ingredients for fortified lock picking are any two of the following Ashen Grass Pod, Falmer Ear, Namira's Root, Pine Thrush Eggs, or Spider Eggs. And blink, bring, bling. <laughs> and bring plenty of lock, uh, lock picks. Okay, so let's do this thing. I must apologize, uh, since Bethesda introduced their creation club, they knocked off the subtitles. I only noticed this after I recorded this video. I don't know how I missed it. Um, so what I'll do, I'll probably turn up the, say, the game sounds for this video. Now, this is huge, this, this quest, so I've decided to go a more direct route to complete it, uh, as even doing it this way, it will be in already be in several parts. Um, and I won't delve too much into Blackreach itself, as it's absolutely enormous. Uh, and it includes all the usual stuff like Falmer, Dwarven Spheres and Centurions and, and Falmer Servants as well, which uh, that's the only place I think I've ever come across them. Uh, it also uh, includes an ancient dragon called uh, Volth Uriel. And it will take several hours just to explore this on, on its own. So what I'm going to do is a completely separate video on Blackreach itself. Or, or I may even do a live stream. Is that something I'd like to uh, give a go? Uh, we'll see. Anyway, moving on. Now, there's a really interesting backstory uh, in this uh, Dwemer ruin. So I suggest you read all the, uh, the journals. Uh, it's really, really interesting, actually. Now, you see my lockpicking is uh, its usual rubbish self. And as I said before, this is going to be more of a, a playthrough, walkthrough kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to be looking for all the uh, the chests and, and hidden items because uh, it will just honestly just take so long. And um, I've noticed the longer my videos are, the less views I get. So I'm trying to keep it as short as possible and give you all the relevant information that you need to actually get through it. So anyway, run down here. Be careful you don't drop off because you will die. Okay. There's a couple of little chests hidden away around the front here. So we tried to get through the glacier at the top, but we couldn't find any way into the tower parapet. Yag spotted the glacial wall and construction out of a catwalk was finished in just in time for a storm to hit. At first we thought to wait it out, but it's only gotten worse. A shift in the glacier took out several of the new labourers. I ordered everyone to quickly move as much of the supplies as we could into the fissure, and we managed to get most of it. But one of the hands decided he wasn't going to listen and tried to make it out through the storm. Got blown off the catwalk in the wind. Looks like we're all well and truly stuck in here, but for all that I feel even more driven that I should be the one to uncover the mysteries of this ruin. I'm tired of all the credit for my work going to the mages or the legion. It will be my name that goes down in the history books for this discovery. 
So old Sulla does sound like a bitter little man. Anyway, we got a bit lucky on that chest. We got uh, a necklace of major lock picking, and that's something I didn't mention. If you can enchant any uh, lock picking items, uh, then bring them as well as the potions. Sometimes called dwarves. Another book I haven't got for my library, which is coming on nicely. I'm going to do a rework of all my player homes of Skyrim. I'll include some uh, mod homes I've got as well. And I've managed to get myself turned around here. Um, okay, I haven't got a clue where I am. <laughs> And this is so easy to do. And here we go. Right, onwards and downwards. No, I balls up, I got turned round, um, so head back in. It's so easy to do in those ice caves. So it's a uh, do as I say, not as I do, I think. Now I know where we are. That's it. Down we go. This is a sad little story. And you'll pick up tons and tons of soul gems in here. Okay, there's some good little items here. Oh, you don't have to pick up the books. I mean, I do, like I say, I'm making a library, so it's all good stuff for me. And research notes. I'll leave you to pause and read this, or you can read it when you're actually doing the quest yourself. Um, but like I say, you really, really do do read them. This one just mentions about the uh, the dwarven stuff they found, and also they've seen a a, a vaguely humanoid-looking thing through the bars, uh, and they don't know what it is yet. Obviously, they don't realise it's Falmer. So, search all the. Uh, the dwarven spheres and spiders, etc. Because, like I say, you do pick up some good stuff there. Uh, I'm not going to be looking for all the chests as I mentioned before. You do see a lot on the walls and stuff. Um, in fact, I think that's one behind which I missed, just behind the table there. Looks like it. Yeah, that was a, that was a chest there. So that really wasn't my priority. And I'll just let Jenna take car. care of that. Didn't even put up a proper fight. I keep on getting turned round for some reason today. Go on, Jenna. That's what you pay for. I'll mix up between third party and uh, or third person and first person. Um, I really don't like the uh, third person combat in Skyrim. Nice little chest here. Nom nom. That one gold coin. I have to have it. It's mine. An arrow in the knee. I 
I think Skyrim was designed as a first person um, game where something like Witcher is it's designed as a third person that's why it works so much better in my opinion okay this is uh, Jadar this is quite a sad story you have to kill him um, you can't talk him around uh, I tried to um, his brother Jadar is right next to him and um, his journal is quite sad and I will read this one um, it says uh, this one is at its wits end. I signed Jadar and myself up for this expedition to get him clean on the skooma. I brought a small supply to try and bring him down slowly, but the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that one with fur should not shake so much from the cold. But I've run out of the little skooma I brought and Jadar is getting pretty bad. He's starting hallucinating, creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think that he may be behind Vaili's uh, disappearance, but I know he would never do something like that. So I think it's fairly safe to assume that uh, uh, Jadar kills Jazar. And Ubana's uh, journal here. Uh, it's been a week since Vaili went missing and now Endras is gone too. We found blood leading over the barred door doorway, but Sulla seems to think that they found a way through and they are trying to cut him out of discovery. He keeps saying, that we need to press on. We've managed to break through into another section of the ruins as a micorrory, whatever it means, the doors will reduce their automatons. We learned the hard way that the metal creatures are still alive in there and it hasn't improved Yag's mood at all. She holds that the Khajiit brothers are involved with disappearance and has been keeping a hard eye on Sulla. The rations have all but run out and we are going to have to decide soon whether to brave the storm or try to push further into the ruin. I don't know if the echoes or screams I've heard in my sleep are those of a missing comrade or my own nightmares. So it sounds like the poor little bastard's having a pretty torrid time of it. Anyway, moving through. There he goes. You always look for those because that's uh, where little buggers live. There's another one just down the edge there. Just ahead of us, just there. You get so much loot out of these ruins. so many soul gems now they're coming out of every orifice but I must say if you haven't uh, leveled up your enchanting uh, grab all these grab them all and there's one down here That's clipping. Oh, no, you don't. Look at that. That's why I hate third person for combat. Okay, little chest here. And been to Guildmaster, and look at that, we got a necklace of major lock picking. Still rubbish. Job done. All that for a gold ring. Fantastic. Ah, field recommend cell, I'll take that.
Okay. Now we seem to be on the left here. These are the ones with uh, the little hidden rooms you find bits and bobs in. Ultimate healing could be handy. And get ready to rock and roll. Bosh. Oh yeah, bolts. There are plenty, plenty uh, bolts to be found around as well. Lot pick things handy. Yeah, I'll take that. That's something I don't use often actually, the mass paralysis uh, uh, spell. I should uh, give that a go. I still got my Guildmaster's gloves on. There you go. And there you go. My sneak level's ridiculously high now. In fact, I might try one of these uh, Dwemer Ruins and do it entirely by stealth. Only killing the ones I actually have to. It's essential to kill. Ugh. And normally, jumping in third party is uh, usually better than the first person, but uh, it's not working. Oh well, just do it the hard way. at the end there. Bosh. Okay, uh, considering I'm actually going to uh, break this down to smaller chunks, I think I'll call it a day here. Please tune in to uh, part two and I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.